Hi, my name is Lauren. Thanks for joining us. And today we're going to talk about many high income earners that get equity compensation. Many high income earners get equity compensation, now, whether it's RSUs, ISOs, non qualified stock options, or ESPP plan. You can plan well and manage your tax liability. So here's a quick overview of each. Now, RSUs. When RSUs best, they are taxed as ordinary income. Holding beyond that does not give you a tax benefit. But if you're going to hold on, then you are taxed at short term capital gains rate if you hold for less than one year, and a long term capital gains rate apply if greater than one year. Now, non qualified stock options. When you exercise these, you're taxed based on the difference between the exercise and market price. This will be taxed as your income rate. Then, if you hold on, you're taxed either short term or long term capital gains based on the time frame you hold for. Now, ISOs. When you exercise these, you have no tax unless you trigger AMT. AMT stands for Alternative Minimum Tax, and if trigger, results in 26 or 28% added tax, which most comes back as a credit in the future. Now then you have short-term or long-term capital gains based on the time frame. Finally, ESPP plans. Now with an ESPP plan, you choose to buy company shares at a discount, and the best plans have a 15% discount and a look-back provision. This is where it compares the fair market value of the stock at the beginning of the offering period and purchase date, then uses the lower value to calculate your purchase price. You are taxed right then around the gain received from the look back and discount. Then, if you hold based on the time frame, and this one's a little more complex and needs a video on its own, you can either get short-term or long-term capital gain rates. Now, this is a super high-level overview of what these different equity compensation plans mean and their basic tax implications. You can be strategic and plan this and minimize taxes by meeting with your tax planner on what makes the most sense for you in both current and future years. Thanks for joining us. Forward to seeing you next time.